Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There may come a time when you need to insert a mathematical equation into a document. This lesson will cover inserting a preset equation and entering an equation manually. To be able to insert one of the many available preset equations, first place your cursor at the insertion point in your document where you want the equation to appear. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon. On the right end of the tab, you will see the Symbols button group. You can click the drop-down arrow on the Equation button to open a menu of choices. Simply scroll through the built-in section to view the available preset equations. If you don't see what you want, you can hover over the More Equations from Office.com command to see a new side menu of choices. When you've chosen an equation to insert, simply click on an equation in either of these areas to insert it into your document. You may need or choose to enter an equation manually as well. You will need to do this if you don't see the equation you want in the list of preset options. To insert and create an equation from scratch, with your cursor at the insertion point, Click the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then click the Equation button in the Symbols button group. A blank equation field will be inserted into your document. The Equation Tools Contextual tab will appear with the Design tab selected. You can use the Symbols and Structures button groups in conjunction with your keyboard to enter the desired equation into the equation field. After you have inserted an equation using either option, you can click the drop-down arrow at the right of the equation field to see a menu of options. This menu of options allows you to save it as a new equation, which will add the equation to the drop-down menu of the Equation button. You will be able to choose how the equation looks using the Professional or Linear options. The next option, which is Change to Inline or Change to Display, will determine how the equation is inserted into your document. When set to display, you can adjust the justification of the equation using the options in the drop-down menu under the Justification option. When set to inline, the equation will be locked to the original insertion point. You can use the options in the Design tab of the Equation Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to edit any equation you have inserted into your document. You can delete an equation by selecting it within your document and then simply pressing the Delete or Del key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.